everybody. Hi YouTube and people who happen to stumble across this video in your search for other content. Uh, today uh, we are going to go over uh, the brand new 2023 Lance 1485. Yes, uh, it just arrived on the lot about two days ago. So we figured we'd get a jump start and do a quick video walkthrough. Uh, it does have uh, the traditional Lance style of just being awesome. Uh, it has tons of really nice goodies, uh, extra features that they that they throw in as standard, um, and I'm excited to go over it. So we'll start in the front. Uh, you got your standard uh, Lance propane cover with your PVC rock guard here in the front. Uh, you got your uh, stargazer uh, front window. Uh, you can get covers for this. I know that's uh, popular in a lot of the Lance communities is getting covers to protect this. Uh, so you can access your propane from here. Uh, you got your Lippert Smart Jack, uh, which looks like they changed up the style a little bit of it. It was yellow, uh, the logos and stuff with the, uh, the lettering and things were yellow, now they're red. Nice little touch, I kind of like it. Uh, you got these nice little LED strips in the front. Uh, you can't see it in this blazing uh, South Carolina sun, but at night they light up and look really cool. Uh, moving along. I'm actually not sure what's in this little panel. If I can get into it. There we go. We'll have to get the tank. Oh, that's for your sewer hose. So that's where that goes. There we go. Now it's working. Uh, for this, you can put in a, a backpack sol or a suitcase uh, solar panels. Uh, you got your crank stabilizer jacks right here. You got a nice little propane quick connect right there. Uh, this massive storage bay. Uh, I haven't seen a storage bay this big on a travel trailer other than possibly uh, the North Trails. Uh, but the North Trails uh, get a little limited. They don't have as big an opening on both sides. Or they have a big opening on one side and a small opening on the other. So this is really nice pass-through stuff. You can get a lot of stuff. You can probably almost fit your bikes and things in there. So. Uh, you can access that from the inside as well, which is really nice. Uh, moving down, you got the, uh, uh, the new windows that they moved to last year. Uh, you got the Euro style door with some pockets for, for storage if you need it. Uh, a nice green door, pretty cool. As always, it is certified green. Uh, it's got the emerald rating, which is one of the highest, I believe. Um, and it's 1475, not 1485, I'm sorry. Uh, it's also four seasons. Uh, I'm pretty sure every Lance camper comes four seasons. And of course it comes with your little JBL speaker. Um, they also put a mount on the inside this year too. So you can bring your JBL speaker inside and outside. And it still has the full JBL sound system with the subwoofer and everything, which is really nice. Uh, oh, and you got your Truma water heater. Uh, which is on-demand water, tankless water heater, very nice. You can get long showers as long as your propane holds out. Uh, back here, you got your backup camera, um, the vents for your refrigerator. Uh, they did move to the Norcold refrigerator this year, which is a little more stylish. Uh, I do like the design of the Norcold. Uh, I forgot to point out the, uh, the, the Carefree Colorado awning, uh, which is very nice. Uh, this is the Latitude. It does have a rain and wind sensor on it, so if the rain or wind picks up, it'll bring itself back in. And then it's got the, the LED light and the tube holder. Um, it's got these nice little bumpers. I like these bumper designs. It's better than the flat square that you typically see, square rectangle. Uh, that's pretty cool. Seeing if they have a blank hitch, they don't. Um, moving on to the, the other side, you got your dump tanks here, you got your liquid and body waste. Uh, more stabilizer jacks. You got your uh, your drains for winterizing. Uh, this is your uh, back flush system. Uh, this is your potable water. What's happening, buddy? Uh, everybody, it's uh, Gabriel again. If you watch the other video, you can see he's hanging out today. Uh, yep, that's where the sewer water comes out. That's where icky water comes out. But luckily, it's brand new, so there's no icky water in there. Uh, 30 amp plug, outdoor shower, uh, you got hot and cold, convenient, especially if you make a mess right there. Uh, 
You got the Goodyear Endurance uh, tires, which is pretty standard of Lance. Uh, I've never seen a Lance without the Goodyear Endurance tires. So uh, I believe this also has, no, nope. uh, since it's a single axle, it doesn't have the, uh, the road armor, but it does have the electric brakes. Uh, it's got the aluminum rim, uh, which is nice. Uh, it looks like it's nitro filled. Um, and let's see, you got a oh, tank vent for your potable water, and then here's another um, fill for your potable. This must be your city water connection, I'm guessing. Yeah. Anyway, nice. Over here, you can see uh, more access to the storage, and then another access to your sewer hose, so you can get it from both sides. Uh, and that completes the outside. We'll go in and see all of the, the really cool stuff on the inside that Lance does. Alrighty. You wanna go up? Nice. Yeah. There you go. So you got the fire extinguisher here. You got plenty of storage over here, right next to the North Pole refrigerator. Um, I'll have to double check, but I'm pretty sure this is a three-way, so. It'll do 12 volt propane and regular 110 or 120. Um, moving on in, Gabe loves the recliners. Uh, it also has this movable uh, eating area, and you can use it here too. So if there's two of you, you can do that, or you can use it while you're laying in bed, breakfast in bed. Um, I think all women love that. So yeah, you got your, your recliners here. You got a nice, good sized sink here with a very fashionable sprayer uh, that releases. You got your sink cover. Um, you got your LED strips, which are pretty cool. So tons of storage up here. You got your microwave. Is it a convection? No, it's just a regular microwave. Uh, down here, you got your three burner stove with the glass splash shield. Flash shield. Uh, you got your oven, which is actually one of the bigger ovens I've seen in an RV. You, you can actually fit stuff in there. That's crazy. Uh, normally they give you just like this little bit of space, uh, but that's nice. Yep, there's the igniter. Luckily we don't have propane in here. Uh, you got your light switches right here, uh, your control panel or your sensor panel, uh, and then your solar controller. I think every lance that we get has a solar panel on it yeah, we, we typically yeah. order it because it's it's almost a necessity at this point um you got your co2 detector and your propane detector down there um you can this comes right out of the box with uh, capability yeah. of lithium so you don't have to redo the whole electrical uh just it's it's automatic now before that you used to have to flip a switch kind of transfer it but now it's auto detect which is great they just keep making everything easier for people uh, if you look up here, you got more storage, you got buttons for lights, and your uh, Carefree Colorado uh, awning. You got some nice reading lights, there's your JBL speaker. Um, Lance gives a lot of little goodies. Uh, uh, I believe this is the TV mount for the outside, so you can hang a TV outside. Uh, vent covers, those are fantastic especially at KOAs or campgrounds when they have all that outdoor lighting. It really helps tone that down. You got your typical Jensen TV. Here's your Truma water heater, uh, your JBL sound system, which sounds phenomenal. Um, I'm not gonna turn it on right now, but it also has a subwoofer, uh, which it will rattle everything in here. So mm -hmm. if you're an audiophile like I am, that's pretty cool. Uh, your day and night shades, which are cool. These have been pretty standard on Lance for a while now. Um, I'm trying to think. Oh, they put like the little Lance emblem. I don't know if they did this before. We're relatively new to the Lance dealer or being a dealer. We've only been doing it for a year or two. So we've only seen the 2022 and 23 models, uh, but I haven't seen that before. At least they didn't do it in 22. So I like that little thing. It's just little touches. Um, and then I will show you the nice spacious bathrooms, uh, the sink, uh, the faucet. It's funny, we get a, a lot of people saying that the sink faucets in the bathrooms on most travel trailers are just, they don't like them and they wind up replacing them. 
Uh, well, Lance put it in there. I don't think you'll want to replace that one. Uh, it's nice. It gives you plenty of space to be able to get whatever you need to under there. Um, I don't know if you'd be filling pots in there like some people do because this sink is big enough. But I think the last thing hey buddy. Uh, is just more storage. Oh no, that's your uh, easy access to the room of water heater. So every now and again, you do have to reset it or do a cleaning. And uh, that's really convenient that you just pop that out. Anyway, uh, this is the Lance 2023-1475. Uh, I'm Nate with Paradise RV. Thank you so much for tuning in. You can check out all of our inventory, a full list of specs. So if I mess something up, it will be corrected uh, in the specs, um, which you can check out on our website at charlestonparadise.com. Uh, there should be a link below that you can click on it. And thanks again. Happy camping.